Hello, Citadel Church. This is Prophet John Harkey. I'm so glad to be able to greet you and share a story. You know, many have asked as you're coming in, as you're, uh, as you're becoming a part of the team and everything that we're doing, why did you start the church? Well, let me get a little bit backstory. I obviously, my wife and I have been traveling full time since 1997 all over the country and then overseas as well a few times a year. Uh, preaching about 300 times a year is, is quite a busy schedule. Yet, why in the world would you start a church in, of all places in Tucson, Arizona, of all places? Well, let me give you a little bit of backstory. About, I, it, was, it was in 1998, um, I met a pastor by the name of Pastor Ron Lester and his wife, Betty. I went to their church in, in the Los Angeles area. We ministered at the church. And, and, and then they decided to retire and they moved to Tucson, Arizona. Well, I think it was about 2006 or 2005. I, I think it's 2006. Uh, Pastor Ron called me and said, uh, John, I, I really think you should come to Tucson. I'm attending a church. I'm, um, we're supporting a church there, an Assembly of God church. And would you like to come? And I'll put you together with a pastor. So we did. I think we our first meeting was in 2006. And then from 2006 to 2007, we came every year to hold revival. 2010, I, I can still remember we the meetings were extended. It was an amazing time. Begin to fall in love with the people, fall in love with the leadership, get to know different people from, from that wonderful church. But then something happened in 2014, and I don't want to go into all the details, but um, what had happened is the church imploded. There was some accusations, there was misappropriation of funds, there were some things morally that were accused, and we don't all know the truth, there's two sides of the story, but you know, we've seen that happen. We've seen that happen recently in, in the body of Christ. And anytime that happens, it, it really grieves me. But to just be more personal, I mean, I've seen that happen a number of times, more than I want to count, uh, over the 30 years that I, of ministry. But anytime that happens, it grieves me. But this one, this, this, this happened of the church closing, you know, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter, really grieved me. So that was 2014. And, you know, and that, that grief never, never left Melian and I because we, we, loved, we loved the people. We, we got to form some really close relationships. And um, there was a couple that stayed in contact with us because after that, the church closed, we never came back. And so I would come come over here. I think I'd come over here, but I would just do, you know, I would I would minister to homeless shelter, or I would uh, I got to prophesy over some teachers in the public school. It was an amazing time. God opened that door. Uh, but as far as, you know, uh, going to a church, holding revival, that was over. That really grieved us. But then in 2021, I can remember exactly where I was. I was in West Virginia, uh, near Morgantown, West Virginia, which is where University of West Virginia is. And uh, I was holding a series of meetings, and there was some people watching from Tucson on, on live stream and making comments. And what happened, one of the ladies uh, made a comment about I was prophesying over someone and she made a comment I have a prophetic word well whoever was running that that the the thread saw that and 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 told me and shared the prophetic word over that thread online it was amazing and all of a sudden something struck me uh something struck me and it wasn't like 
it wasn't like I got a vision or a word, but all of a sudden I felt a burden. I felt this weight come on me that all these sheep had been scattered and they need to be brought back. They need to be brought back. And under healthy leadership, they need to be empowered, equipped. And on top of that, we've had some close friends of ours who had moved from Hawaii to Tucson. So there was that factor. So basically, after that meeting that night, we go into the green room, we're sitting with the pastor, and they're asking questions about who are these people from Tucson? And I, I explained to them who they were, and I looked at Meliana, I said, honey, we need to start a church in Tucson. And when I said that, we both just, whew, it was like this, we felt something. And so two weeks later, we're here and we launched our first meeting. We met in a, met in another ministry and uh, did it on Thursday night because predominantly uh, because of my schedule, Thursday night was the was the night that I'm not preaching most of the time of the year. Thursday went travel day or a day off. So Thursday night fit the best, which was untraditional. It wasn't Sunday or Wednesday. So we launched it. I think we had about 30 people that particular first night. Then Melian and I are, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're on the road again. What are we going to do? So I called my daughter and she agreed to come. And I, this is, you know, as a father, uh, you, you know, there's moments when your children really touch you. And I remember she came, she held a meeting and she said, dad, I, um, I feel like we need to help you. And it was the summer and the kids were out of school, my grandkids. And so they, my son-in-law, my daughter came here in 21 in the summer to set some structure up to get the church off the ground. We met in a, we met in the hotel there at the Double Tree. And over the last three years now, we have, we have, we went from the Double Tree, we rented a, we rented a space to now where we were given a building here on 12th Avenue. And I look back on that, and I'm so thankful. We have a wonderful leadership team. And if you're watching this video, I encourage you to, to join the team because it's a miracle. It's a miracle of how it all started. It's a miracle of, of how it all went together. But it's also a miracle of how people have been brought back to the knowledge of God and who are serving who are doing things that are impacting the community. And right now, as I'm sitting here, the, the community of Tucson is being impacted by this church plant and will continue to be impacted. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. God bless you.